I don't know, but we will see. I'm going to check it out with you guys. Oh, shit. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get a grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I am trying something different. I actually uh, went to the store and picked something up. I don't know if you guys ever seen the Game of Thrones Oreos. So, when I first saw this, I was like... I thought it was gonna be like something like crazy, right? That was my first thought. I was like, man, these Oreos are gonna be crazy. As soon as I open them up, it's gonna be dudes inside the package fighting with swords and killing people and running the country and all that. You know what I'm saying? Really, nigga? I really do like the design. I really think that's what uh, sparked the attention of a lot of people, man, because a lot of people were, were grabbing it. And it could be too, because people like Game of Thrones. I mean, the crazy thing is like, I've never watched it, right? And I know a lot of people are like, how you never watched it? I mean, it's the biggest thing popping, I understand that. Um, but I've never gotten around to the chance of actually watching it, you know what I'm saying, and, and seeing what it was about. I'm pretty sure I would enjoy it. But then when it's like, all right, let me go binge watch. This on like the eighth, seventh, eighth season. There ain't no way I'm finna catch up to that. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna take me forever. So when I saw these, I was like, maybe I'll get a step up. You guys can kind of help me out. Let me know what I've been missing or whatever. Um, but I definitely want to try these, man, and just kind of see if they like regular Oreos and this is just packaging or something different. So it's like a mystery package for me right now. I don't know, but we will see. I'm going to check it out with you guys. Oh, shit. So come to my surprise guess what I, ever, I didn't see this part on the back man with the different cookies they got the white walkers the house lannister house targaryen and the house stark so i guess these are they got like the logos of the different houses on game of thrones man so if you a fan of one of the houses pick which one you want man save them you know what i'm saying shout out to the bisco man I ain't got for eating this. I probably should watch Game of Thrones, maybe. I don't watch so, so, so much TV, but if it was that good, I'll try it out. If you guys say I should try it out, I'll try it out. And who knows, man, what's next? I think I might, if I like it, I might throw like a Game of Thrones party. Bruh. I think a lot of people show up, right? Everybody show up with their swords. Ah, hail the king. Back away the spawn of Satan. Whatever they be saying, I don't know. But I figure all movies like that with swords always got somebody in there like, ha, ah, you know. Ah. Ah. But if it's anything like the movies I like, like I like Spartacus. Spartacus was good. Um, what else I like? Gladiator. Gladiator is, is a good movie. I like I like um, Troy. Troy was a good movie. I like that one. I like uh, what else I like? I like the Three Hundred. I like that movie. So I do like a lot of you know swords and action movies like that, just to kind of see. I think the biggest thing that stands out to me was how people function so much when it seemed like the areas were so unclean, you know what I mean? Like, they were in places for like good showers and you didn't see people like brushing their teeth and stuff like that. But then those in the, in, in the castle and stuff, they was clean. So I'm like, somebody had to have a little something, you know what I'm saying? So I always think about that when it comes to the older days, like how did they function, you know, in this type of like how we function now, man. If you got somebody who you know that don't take a bath, that you can't breathe around. It's almost like a dead body. You know what I'm saying? So it do make me wonder uh, 
you know, how they was able to do it. You know what I think? I think everybody smelled the same. So I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you think about it like this. So if everybody smelled the same, everybody would smell bad. There's no such thing as good and bad because everybody smelled the same. So when it came to, uh, you know, having kids or making out and stuff like that, it wasn't, oh, I can't kiss her or kiss him because his mouth smelled bad. It was like, shit, all our mouth smelled like that. So I'm guessing that's what it was. That's my perception. I don't know nobody who lived that long to ask them. But my thing is at the same token, they had to know that it smelled some type of way because toothpaste would have never been invented. I mean, true enough, you know, it helps you keep your teeth nice and everything like that. But based on the foods that we eat, you know, it's hard to keep your teeth clean and white and pearly white and all that. That's why dentists can charge you so much for, for new teeth and stuff like that. But I did hear back in the days that when they did make like fake teeth, they were like wooden. Kind of like, I don't know. Granddaddy told me that years ago that it was like wooden teeth. So they had ways of making you new teeth if your teeth rotted out or whatever. Uh, but that everything was used from alcohol. So if you need to clean your teeth or whatever, you use alcohol. And not like rubbing alcohol, I mean like drunk out your mind alcohol. And that's maybe why everybody drunk so much too is because not only are you having fun, but you know what I'm saying, you keeping your mouth clean, I guess. But again, that's hearsay. I don't know nobody. It could be the same myth like they said, uh, dogs' mouths are cleaner than humans. And I'm like, but dogs lick they butt. But then again, you got some humans who wipe their butt with a washcloth and then wash their face with it after it. So I don't know. Oh, hell no. Oh. Uh, but either way, like I said, man, shout out to the Bisco for the Oreos, Game of Thrones, man. You guys, if you haven't watched it, check it out. I'm going to take my own advice and make sure I check it out because I heard it was amazing. And I'll get back to you guys after I see it because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot to say that y'all already know. <laughs> All right. Until next time, you guys, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.